Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Casey Stranger, and this is the Crystal Tomb. You open your eyes and notice a colossal creature rising to meet you. Your first thought is of a jellyfish, and the comparison is close enough. From its great discoid upper body hangs a mass of pale luminescent tentacles. The comparison's not perfect, however. The creature moves its tentacles with purpose, probing the space about it. Its body is hypnotic to behold, with iridescent colors washing over it in waves. And then it speaks to you. Cain, it says, its voice high and otherworldly. It was not my wish that we were enemies. I told you from the crystal tomb that I wished for freedom for all things, and that was true enough. Alas, that existence itself constrains us to be enemies. Kaleen, well, you... it continues, its voice floating. We could almost have been friends. We were so close. I regret that. Now, I must be rid of you, it says with finality, and you feel the words in your bones. Oh, Fallon. I should offer you words as well. Let me think what to say. How about this? Go fuck yourself. And that was where we left last time. We can still be friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think killing the last three of their kind kind of oh, sealed that. <laughs> no, but this one's a jellyfish. You saw nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you may position yourselves as you see fit um, within the yellow box. Uh, so I mentioned last time that it seemed as if you were suspended in some sort of like liquid, but you could breathe it and move around well enough. Um, so just to explain the map real quick, um, these raised areas are a height of 20 feet over like the basin, like this trench area. Um, you can move freely up and down. You sort of stay afloat, if you will. I'm going to call this level that you're starting on zero. Um, and uh, the creature appears to be floating um, at about the level that you all are starting at. Um, I mentioned also the borders of the area appear hazy and indistinct. Like, the, the edge is about as far as you can see, actually. Um, the final thing to note is regarding movement. Um, this fluid sort of constrains your movement somewhat, but sort of not really. Uh, the way it works is your normal movement speed is always what gets used on this map. So if you have a swim speed or a climb speed or a fly speed, I'll note the fly speed part. If it is faster than your ground-based movement speed, you must use your ground movement speed. Um, I'll say, or half the fly speed or whatever else, whichever's higher. It's basically like you're either... Actually, no, here's really the way to put it. Oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind. Yeah, you're basically either, like, walking or swimming or whatever like that. So, notably, Gamork in Quetzalcoatlus form is only going to have 40 feet of movement speed. Um, so with that then, uh, we can all roll initiative. Oh, uh, are you all positioned as you like? Yeah. Where I want to be. All right, cool. Then <laughs> I will re-reveal <laughs> where the creature is, and uh, everyone can roll initiative. Look at this, I'm actually rolling decent. And it doesn't matter because these are fucking no, ancient primordial beings. <laughs> I just rolled a 10. What? You're literally all coming in above it so far. <gasps> Wait, where is it? How close is it? No, it's so far away. Huh. <laughs> no, it's so far away. Oh, I don't even have Step of the Way anymore. Dang it. Oh, um, okay. That what? Okay. My one health. Oh, I'm so Fallon, you're great. actually at 20, it looks like. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm at like 13. 
Okay, yeah. Well, you literally all go before it. Um, how do... Actually, I don't know the answer to this question. Uh, legendary actions... Um, first turn. Oh, okay. It's only if it's surprised that it can't use them. So it can use its legendaries. Good to know. Hey. Yes. We Fallon. I do hide me. Alright. Um so Fallon, uh it is your turn. <clears throat> Ciao. Yeah, oh, yep, yep. That's gonna hit. Oh, I didn't put that in. Uh... Isn't there some plus fours to be added as well? Oh, uh, yes. Foe Slayer? Yes. This okay. is your last chance to get the net kill, Fallon. <laughs> okay. So, what, uh, 20 piercing damage, then? Yes. Alright, yep. <gasps> you, you, and then I'm gonna vanish. You flimp away. Uh, and then I vanish. Oh, alright. The you old hide finish. in plain sight. Uh, hold on a sec. Why is this... Uh, mm -hmm. roll 20 is being uncooperative. There we go. Just... Beautiful. Whisper nothings into roll 20's ears. Uh, yeah, uh, you can, uh, roll stealth, Fallon. Is that how it works? It just, because on my screen it says, uh, any creature trying to detect me takes a negative 10 penalty to their wisdom perception checks. Uh, hold on, let me, so we're using the Unearthed Arcana, let me look up the rules real quick. I mean, I, I'll roll it, I was just, I, I just noticing that that's kind of all it really says. Yeah, I when think that might. Turn, you... I think that might be. Oh, here we go. That's perception. When you attempt to hide on your turn. Oh, interesting. Why did I think it worked differently? Hold on a sec. Okay, I've been doing this completely wrong, I guess, because the way I was seeing it was, like, that the advantage of this ability was that you could hide without having cover. Normally, you need some kind of cover in order to hide. Um, How's that? But this is just saying that your hiding is, like, extra good. Um, so, you know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, if you don't well, have... Just hide in plain sight. I mean, do I really need cover? <laughs> According to these rules, you do. So here's what I'm going to say. If you have cover, you get the minus 10. If you don't have cover, then you don't get the minus 10, but you can still attempt to hide. Um, Where's this cover? Sorry, I thought I pasted the rule directly into my character sheet. Are you, are you, what are you seeing that talks about cover? No, It's general rule stuff. You can't just hide you can't just be out in the middle of nowhere and decide to hide like you have to have something to hide behind or in or something like that like that's just how the rules work well um, they should name change the name of that shitty spell well yeah um, that that's why this entire time i've like i just intuited from the name and was like oh you have the ability to hide in plain sight that's what's going on but um I mean, so I'm just gonna say, i still think that's the case but i'll i'll do Whatever. Well, you do happen to be positioned by, like, a little ledge there. Um, I'm willing to allow that you can hide behind that. Okay. So that would give you the minus 10. You still need to make a stealth check. Because it sets I did. I the... I rolled uh... a negative. Oh. That's a perception check. Yeah, that is oh, a perception right. check. That is not stealth. <sighs> Huzzah. All right. And basically what I'll do is, like, your stealth check sets the difficulty for it to detect you. So I'm just, like, essentially increasing it by 10. So it's 10 harder for it to see you. Uh, all right. You you think you do a pretty decent job of 
ducking behind that ledge while it's sort of flailing from the bolt that struck it. Uh, anything else on your turn? Nope. All right. That'll bring us to Kane. How far away? Not too bad. Alrighty. Okay, like we were like 20 feet or so. This is a ledge too, right? Yeah, but like I said, you can just walk off of it and you won't fall immediately. Unless I mean, like, to. there's like cover here. Oh, yes. Indeed there is. Okie doke. Ooh! I, I just have behind a pillar. I behind this pillar thing? I should be close enough now. I had to like zoom all the way out before, so if you can check that would be 80 feet. Yeah, you're close enough. Woo! Alrighty, and because I go before it, I have advantage. Yep. Not a sneak attack though, because it's not surprised. I'm Correct. pretty sure. <laughs> this is with the plus three arrow. And I got plus two for the thing, right? Uh, the god thing? Yes, that's right. Alright, so plus five. Whatever I roll. 24? Uh, yeah, I'll hit. Oh, 34. 35. <laughs> Wait, what? How Advantage. Oh, yes, yes. You definitely hit. <laughs> I did the back math wrong at the end there, though. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, damage. Alright. And then quiver of fire. Probably not going to do anything, but you know what? I like rolling quiver of fire. Oh, and I you like know what? Rolling. I'm sorry. I forgot something. Um, Fowlin, on your attack, yes. Uh, when your bolt hit it, like, you definitely did hurt it, but it sort of, like, sort of um, thudded into its gelatinous body and didn't do quite as much as you'd hoped. Um, and Kane, the same is unfortunately true for you, although the uh, the flames do a fair number. <gasps> um, Guys, fire! Fire! I mean, not vulnerability. I, I'm not meaning to signal in vulnerability. But, yeah, but like, yeah. rather just like, use fiery okay, stuff. So Alright, so... Alright. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's similar for you. Your arrow doesn't do as much as you'd hoped, but uh, you hit it with some flames as well. They're also hiding. Um, okay. Are you able to make a hide action? Yes. Oh, okay. There's a bonus action. I'm a, I'm a rogue. <laughs> I mean, rogues don't... Do rogues automatically get hide yes. as a bonus? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you do. Never mind. I remember this now. Uh, okay. Alright. I just don't use... I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> right. No, it has been a while. But um, Fowler reminded me, hey, I can hide. <laughs> so let's try that. Alright. Cool, cool. Um, at the end of your turn, it's going to use a legendary action. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Were you done with your turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, it will use a legendary action to um, do this. Um, and specifically, it's going to use a spectral harpoon against Colleen. Of course. Bye, so, uh, Colleen, that's uh, 25 against you. Um, let me look at this real quick. Is it worth shielding at 1 HP? <laughs> Hell yeah, it is better than dying. <laughs> okay, oh, so... Back. My AC is 19 plus 3 from your bonus. Yeah. Yeah, so 22. If I shield, yeah, shield. Okay. Uh, yep, you throw up a quick shield, and um, basically a bolt of magical force that's flying in towards you Uh Shinks off your shield with sort of a grinding sound. Uh, that'll send it to you. Flipendo. Uh, 
Uh, I would like to hamster ball myself, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually that? Yeah. Okay. My, my one health, I'm gonna observe for a little bit in my ball. <laughs> Uh, why can I? There we go. Wait, clean. Just tell her how much you're gonna be friends again. Yeah, I'll I'll come into the ball and I'll talk to it. I think we can still be friends. Walls. Um, <laughs> I think that's the response. Are you doing anything else? No. All right. Brian? So let me just remind myself. This is for the record. This is Autoluke's resilient sphere. So blocking magical effects and stuff like that nothing not physical objects energy other spell effects can pass in or out of the barrier all right duly noted um sphere is immune to all damage except for disintegrate got it now don't metagame that kc if this has disintegrate it can't know that all right it is at the end of your turn, it is going to use, or actually, do I just, yeah, you know what, um, I haven't attacked Gamork in a while, and it's because they're focused on you guys, but two of you are hidden, it's a giant pain, so I'm going to try to harpoon Gamork. Legendary How action. How are you? Uh, 18 probably misses, right? Correct. Alright. Try to hurt our boy. It's Gamork's turn. He's a good boy. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Where did the, where did the, where's the fly speed again? It's 80 feet. It's in the, um, bottom right section. Uh, what's... Oh, fly speed 80 feet. Yes, it's typed. Yep. But you said I can only actually move 40? Correct. Mm. We're gonna wade down the hill. Hold on, how much health does he have? Cat does not approve of this. <laughs> Alright, and now he waits. Okay. Are you dodging, or...? Yeah, I might right. as well. Okay, then. That is done. Um, so, end of your turn. May as well use my last legendary action. Um, let me see here. Oh, way with you. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to attack Gamork again. So this will be at disadvantage, though. Okay, yeah, 17 will miss. Alright, so that will bring us to its turn. And we are going to use... Um... <coughs> beyond, more like beyond bitchiness. We are going to use Allure of Madness. <laughs> Uh, so Colleen is shielded from this by virtue of her bubble. Uh, everyone else, I'm going to need a DC 23 wisdom saving throw as it, as it um, wiggles enticingly and waves <laughs> of charm roll over you. I don't want to get enticed by tentacles. <laughs> Casey, <laughs> don't make me. Thing. Casey, no, I don't want to be enticed by tentacles. <laughs> 22 no. is not 23. <laughs> Wait, can't I roll again or something? Not my against ring. a charm. Your ring works against, like, movement restricting things, not a charm. Um, you sure is the paralysis? <laughs> I'm seeing a few more failures coming in. No. So, Colleen, you watch as all of your companions sort of slack and start to gaze just sort of emptily towards the creature um to remind you what charmed means you can't attack the charmer or target them with harmful so basically you can't do anything that would harm them 
uh, so no harmful abilities or magical effects. Um, and it has advantage on any social interaction with you if that comes up. Um, but it does end if it does anything harmful to you. Um, so that is going to be that. Uh, you can be getting enticed by tentacles. So, uh, Fallon, it is your turn. Um, I apologize. What can I do now that I'm charmed? You can't do anything harmful to it, basically. Okay. Um... I mean, how? how and, oh, and like, it has advantage on any kind of persuasion or whatever against you. Why did the music stop? It didn't stop for me. Um. Okay. Um. I don't know what I can do here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. How about this? Sorry. Uh... What if, okay, so wind, if I put like a wind wall between us and that thing, it wouldn't hurt it. Could I do that? Yes. I can probably teleport, but there's really nothing else I can think to do. Um, but is that weird in this crazy terrain? Teleportation? No, the wind wall. Oh. Uh, I mean, you're not sure if you want to make like a nature check to... Or let me see, would it be nature or arcana? It's all otherworldly. Probably, you know, I'm going to say nature just because it's like physical. If you want to make a nature check to try to take your best guess at that. 16. Um, so you're in. It's honestly, even on 16, it's really hard to say. Uh, you're in some kind of fluid. It depends. It feels less viscous than water, so you think it'll probably work, but you can't be a hundred percent sure. Can I cast silence on it? Uh, you. Well, let me see here. Do you have any reason to think that would be harmful to it? Um, roll intelligence. Um, Let me, actually, let me think about this. So, does it say no sound can be created within or pass through? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no, you can't cast it because theoretically it might render it unable to hear you, which would be harmful in the loose sense. My voice is beautiful. Um, okay. Well, then I will stay hidden. Okay, you do have to repeat the hide check, or the stealth check. Okay. Um, and as it is the end of your turn, the charm is going to wear off at this point, but you need to make an intelligence saving throw. Ooh, that is unfortunate. Uh, you are going to take some psychic damage as you were wrecked by nightmarish visions. Uh, basically, just um, as you sort of come back... Damage? 
Nope. Um, as you sort of come back to your senses, uh, you, it just, you see things. I'm just going to leave it there. So, that's going to be 24 psychic damage. Alright, um, let me see here. But I'm used to nightmare visions. Not these ones. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to try to attack Gamork again, actually. Um, so, here's another harpoon against Gamork. Man. Alright, rolling like shit. Okay, so it just goes completely wide against Gamork. Kane, your turn. You are on mute. You are muted, Kane. Roll a d20, Casey. Maybe it hits itself in confusion. I huh? already did. Oh, shit, you did. Never mind, Casey. Um, Y'all didn't hear me say during a lull that I can't wait to see all the character creations from uh, Cyberpunk now. <laughs> I want to see Ned Flanders and Night. Yep, yep, yep. That's exciting. Your turn. So I can't do anything, huh? You can't do anything harmful to it. Also, even if I don't move, I have to remake by a stealth check? Yes. Well, that seems silly. I want to hurt it, though. I want to hurt it so bad. <laughs> it's made of tentacles. I guess I do nothing since, like... <sighs> you know what? No. I'm going to move it with Gaborky Borg. Wait, you're going to what now? Up to the Bork. Okay. Or, but like, move farther forward. Okay. So like, what is this movement here? Like, Actually, wait a minute. Let me, let me check. If, if the, if the rules say that you don't have to remake the health, the stealth check, then I won't make you do that. Hide I think at this point I'm fine with it, but I'm just like, you know, for, for regular people. Who aren't roads. Hide action, 192. Yeah, the rules are not immediately clear, so I'm going to say you have to repeat it. Alright. Is this just like har fully horizontal, or is it like downward movement here? Uh, so it goes down twenty feet down into that trench, but you don't have to go down. Like you can stay suspended. I'll just go up to here. Oh, and actually, okay, wait a minute. It says on hide in plain sight, if you are still hidden on your next turn, you can continue to remain motionless and gain this benefit until you're detected. Actually, I think the intention is that you can just stay hidden if you want. So, Kane, I will give you that option as well. If you want to just remain where you are, you will retain your previous stealth check. And you are on mute. I'm, a, I'm on push to talk because people yelled down the stairs. Um, sorry. Yep. I, I'm fine with it, because I'm a stealth god, so... Okay, so you're moving up and attempting to hide again? Yeah. Oh, Alright. So, Fallon, I put you back at the 35 that you were at before, and Kane is now also at a 35. Alright. I'm not going to do that again, because I don't like to move my arms with Uh, that's it. No, we, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, Colleen, it's your turn. Oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry, Kane, end of your turn. Intelligence save. I wanna see if I die. <laughs> yep, that's a failure. So you also see things. Are Twenty-three oh, psychic damage. And Kane's out. All right, that's exciting. Oh boy, super exciting. So, yep, Kane disappears. Particle effects, excitement. Your stealth check goes away. I don't feel so good, Mister DM. <laughs> 
Um, it's really hard to make a decision when I'm one hit from dead and Kane just popped in front of me. <laughs> Don't let that sh shake your morale. You're just upset because you can't revive me. Revive me as a zombie. <laughs> you said we were 20 feet above the ground. Yeah, above like this basin down here. Like you're on the ground that you're on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're actually like standing on something. We're not like suspended yeah. necessarily. Correct. But if you choose to move off of it, then you by default become suspended. Unless okay, you choose well, to move down. I'm going to drop the bubble and I'm going to use a wall of stone to try to make a line across here to protect Fallon and myself. Okay, uh, let me see. Thick boy. Okay, so let me see. Wall of stone, it's gonna be... So, okay, uh, describe to me what you're doing here. Uh, let me... So, let me see. Ten foot by ten foot panels. Each panel has 30 hit points per inch. So if I make it like 30 feet and triple stuff it, I'm hoping see. that'll be enough. Can you... Yeah, I guess you can do that. Um, okay, so you're saying that you're making... You're making it 30 feet long? So 30 feet at 18 inches you're going to have one 10 by 10 panel left if you do that. Um, I'll use the one extra panel to go out an extra. Okay, so you're just doing basically like from you rightward? Is that what I picked up? Yeah. Okay, so it's basically going to be one, two, three, four. So it's going to be like this. So there's the triple wall. And then 10 feet like that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. She's doing those weird gate things from Naruto that Oshimaru uses. Are you doing anything you doing? else on your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Um, end of your turn. I'm going to try to attack Mork one more time. Still has a dodge going. How's a 27? Pretty sure that gets it. It's, yeah, he's, he's only at 23. All right. All right. Uh, even with the uh, even with the plus three. Yeah, the twenty. It, he has okay. a twenty plus the three. Got it. Um, all right, so that is going to be thirteen force damage to Gamork. Um, the harpoon is going to remain attached until dispelled. I'll represent that in the actually let's make it the red bubble uh, for Gamork, and um, Gamork's movement speed is reduced by five feet for each attached <laughs> harpoon. <laughs> 
<laughs> you monster. <laughs> How dare you, sir. Uh, and yeah, it is Gmork's turn now. Dodge it up. All right. Um, and uh, the charm effect is going to wear off at this point. I need Gmork to make an int save. He has uh, advantage if he can see me. Uh, well, Colleen did just make a wall, and you are hidden. So um, I'm going to say he can't <laughs> see you. Colleen! <laughs> so. Uh. Colleen's fault. 32 psychic damage. It's not Colleen's fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. At the end of the creature's turn, it's going to teleport using a legendary action. And we're going to get to here. So uh, specifically, so that you can see what I'm using, it's going to be uh, this. Um, all right, and that will bring us to its turn. Um, so, let me see here. And now you guys are going to hate me for this next bit, I think, but I promise I planned it this way. Um, actually, wait a minute, no. Uh, so I'm going to split this up here. So I'm going to use this. So it can make six attacks. First one's going to go against Gamork. 28? Yep. Yes. Oh, no, it is a dodge. That's actually an 18. So I think that misses. Yeah, that misses. All right. Um, let's do another one. Uh, 16. Actually, it's a crit fail based on the dodge. Okay. Uh, do we want to keep going after Gamork at this point? I'm actually going to say no. So it's going to split up its movement. It's going to come up here. And then I mentioned there was sort of this hazy boundary before. It actually vanishes off the edge of this area. And reappears down here. I assumed that's what was going to happen. So, um, it's next attack. Ah, Colleen's in range. Good, good. So let me see. I used two attacks, so third one is now going against Colleen. Uh, 27. If it meets, it still hits, right? Correct. Then I guess it'll hit me. All right. Uh, eight force damage. Um, I think. Are you Anything still at one? Do. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think you still have so a I... second charge on your thing. Um, yeah. So is it is it half the damage that you have to make as a DC? It's the excess damage. Oh, okay. So s seven then is the DC for this. Things that I'm good at, con saves. Yeah, good <laughs> enough. Uh, here's attack number four. Oh, <laughs> real quick, I forgot to see if it got its ability back. I won't use it at this point, but okay, I didn't get it back. Um, okay, uh, attack number four. 31. That'll hit. So 20 force damage on that one. Twenty force damage, so DC is now nineteen. Mm -hmm. 
Or believe with a dream. Close. No. Oh. Close, but unfortunately not close enough. So Colleen pops as well. I think unfortunately the wall goes away as well. No, it's just Fallon out there. <laughs> Can't even see me. Um, okay, so let me see. Now it has two more attacks left. Well, the range is enough. It has this advantage anyway. So we're just going after Gamork some more. Uh, 19, I think, is going to miss. And Correct. 17 is going to miss. Correct. Um, all right. So that is its turn. It is now to you. <clears throat> Can I defer my turn until after Gamork's turn? Uh, yes, you may. Then I do. All right. Um, and I say I'll say that you haven't taken a turn at all, so it doesn't have a chance for legendary action. So that brings us to Kane. Um, so Kane, you awaken in the room with the creation spirits once more, um, and uh, Kirill grins wryly at you and says, "You're back." And Lassell says, don't give him a hard time. Here, go get him. I tried not to die. Uh, go ahead and roll a d5. We're in lower gods here, boys. We gotta hurry up. All right. Um, so, um... You watch as uh, Haval nimbly uh, darts across the battlefield. Um, he's actually like fairly short in stature, and most of the opponents he's up against don't even seem to notice him. Uh, he pulls out a bow and shoots down a number of flying eels. Uh, he pulls out a short dagger and stabs behind him. Uh, at a tentacle that was rising to meet him, but doesn't notice the second one that comes up, grabs him by the ankle, pulls it out from under him, and then a, a spiny arm smashes down across his chest, and golden blood trickles out of the wound. He just thinks to himself, watching this, man, how come I got the short god? Uh, that being said, you all now have the following bonus. Uh, you have plus three to strength, dex, and con saving throws. Oh, boy. Look, look at another wisdom or intelligence. Um, and, uh, Kane, I'm not... you pop back into existence with all of your various bonuses in place. And full HP and all that. Kane says, I'm back, bitch. <laughs> where, are, where are we back at? Back where you were. Oh, there I am. Yep. Oh, god damn, he teleported. <laughs> well, I gotta zoom out. This map's fucking huge. <laughs> oh, man. Our app. Like, our hold on. I gotta, like, make the avatar smaller. I hate this thing. All right, I'm just gonna move closer to it. All right. You beyond. <laughs> of course, it's that far away. So I gotta move 50 feet to get there. Oh my goodness. Guess I'll dash. Okay.
So bonus to dash. Also, I forgot my second attack last time. I won't forget this time. Oh, so you did. Plus three. Plus two. Yeah, that'll hit. Woo! Uh, okay, once again, um, arrows don't seem super effective, but you do some damage. Alright. Oh, uh, I, okay, the attack came in slow, but yeah, that hits. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's it. My bonus was to dash. I made two attacks. Alright. Um, at the end of your turn, it's going to use a legendary action to attack you. Give me a vest. Big bit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Wait, I was. So that will... Hold on, question. Yeah, what's up? Wait, question. Does this count as a melee attack? No. Is a ranged attack. Dang it. I can't use Bone Candy Dodge. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, 24 force damage on that. And you have a harpoon attached to you. Um, movement speed reduced by 5 feet for each attached harpoon. Um, I can only go 40 feet. Uh, Alright. That will bring us to Kaleen. Um... Colleen, you also awaken in the same room with the others, and uh, they all just look at you for a moment, and Lassadel nods and says, You'll get it, Colleen. The roll, time's a charm. Roll a d4. Okay. Let me see here. All right. Um, you watch uh, a large black armor-clad figure with curling horns as he wields a great axe and cleaves down waves of enemies. Uh, none other than, of course, al himself. Um, finally, though, a great specter arises to meet him. It looks like nothing so much as... I mean, how do I even describe it? As an animated wave made completely of black, lined in sharp needles. It engulfs him, and as you watch him struggle out of it, you see sort of blood of the darkest silver roll down his neck. Uh, that being said, all of your damage is now increased by 25%. All right. I'm not doing that math. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, I'll also uh, stick your HP back up. Oh, yeah, and you also have... Oh, no, no, you don't have any harpoons on you at this point. Okay, cool, cool. You know, it's not back, right? All right, so it is now your turn. <sighs> oh, wait, and I'm sorry. You get all your friends back, too. Oh, joy. Be right back while you do that. Swimming, swimming skillies. So uh, you can put him wherever you want in the yellow, uh, or like on the platform, I'll say. And actually, let me get rid of the boxes I meant to do that earlier. And I still get the uh, benefits of a long rest, is that right? Yep. Spells and stuff. Yep. Well... We'll spread them out a little bit, since they just appear. That should be good. Alright, well... What a jerk. <laughs> I would like to... fire off Disintegrate. Let's see... I should actually move forward a little bit just in case. 
Yeah, let me see what's. You said movement is reduced slightly. Uh, no, only like um, you, your ground speed and swim speed still work as normal. Well, I think my swim speed is thirty, but my ground speed is forty. Yeah, so you get that. You get forty. Can I go to this spot? Uh, where is this spot? Forty point three. Yes. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay. And then let me just make sure. Totally can reach. All right. Uh, so I'm going to cast Disintegrate at 7th level. Disintegrate is only 60 feet. I have a Spell Sniper. So you do. Um, all right. So, yeah, you can totally do that then. Um, so it has to make a dex save. Check. Yes. Yep, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's going to be a fail. So, 76 force damage, is that right? Yeah. You did 7th level. Do you need an extra? Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. That's 89 damage. Um, oh, yeah. 25. And then that's also going to be increased by 25% for your most recent bonus. So times 1.25. So that's going to be... Um, so here's the damage. That's what it adds up to. Um, great number. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you... You guys have been tickling this thing so Holy far. Shit. Clean reanimates on the battlefield and lets loose an absolute bolt that seems to just annihilate all of this fluid that it passes through. It slams into the creature, and you see a giant hole just rip cleanly through it. Um, and you watch as it um, wails and wiggles ferociously. Wiggle. Yep. Alright. So that is your movement and action, I guess. Yeah. Let's uh, uh, move up some zombies. Alright. And remember, you can float them off the edge if you want. You're not, like, constricted to this terrace. Float. They're just... My baby. They're, they're swimming at that point. They could potentially be knocked around, but... Okay. I think this will be fine. Alright. the moment... Good enough. That's it. All right. So then, on the end of your turn, um, actually, let me see here. Actually, I think I want to go after Kane again. Yeah, we're gonna go after Kane again. Hey. Okay. So we're gonna make a harpoon attack. Thirty-three. Sure, this is. Wait, hold on. I have a reaction. Mm -hmm. 33? That's too fucking high, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, seven. So, 16 force damage, and you get a second one of these harpoons in you, so your movement speed is reduced by another 5 feet. Ah! Uh -huh. Fallon, it's your turn. Quark's turn. Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah, you're right. I skipped past Quark for some reason. It's Quark's turn. So am I still reduced by five movement speed for Gamork? Correct. Two, because so you can move there, though, right? Yeah, and you did just... Well, okay, yeah. Actually, so... my fly speed is... Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, right. For what it's worth, just to clue you guys in on this, um, I mentioned this, like, haziness at the boundaries of the map. All the, the creature didn't teleport down here. It just, like, moved off the border and reappeared down here. So you imagine the same thing would happen if you decided to go that way as well. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Pac-Man. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Okay, so Kamork moved there. All right. Dodge this. Okay. Um, let me think here. Mark is gonna dodge. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. That's cool. 
So Fallon's Fallon. turn. All right. Yeah, Fallon is gonna move over here. All right. Oh. All right. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you draw Quetzal, Quatlis, Gamork, and you, so you literally have like a dinosaur shadow fire bolt loaded for bear. Now let's see if it hits. Um, that's just a flump roll, I guess. Yep. Thirty-three will hit. So, uh, you fire away, uh, or like wherever you want. If you want to um, reposition at all, please go for it. That's that's fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, let me see here. So you're gonna roll your bolt damage um, plus an additional five d four in both fire and necrotic. So Plus four for the... Yeah, plus four as well. All right, so let me start doing addition here. Okay, so 15 fire and 10 necrotic. Uh, so your part of the attack is going to do 41 damage in total. Um, I'm accounting for the piercing resistance that I've been strongly hinting at. Uh, so it's going to be that. No. It has piercing resistance? I've been strongly hinting at this. I'm done. <laughs> like when I said all the arrows and bolts weren't were sort of sinking into it and not doing that much. Um, okay, yeah. So this attack is going to automatically hit. Um, although, hold on a sec. What's going on here? I, oh, I don't know. maybe uh, I don't know what that is. I think that you need to click on. Oh, oh, that's like if you use. Remember, like the the necklace, the amulet that Gamork had. Wow. Yeah, that's just the yeah. bonus damage for that. Okay, sorry. I yep. don't know what I'm doing. No worries. Uh, okay, 20, 20 hits, or 23 hits. Um, okay, so 12, 17, 3. All right. Um, cool. So, yeah, uh, Gmork gets in a, an acid bite as well, and the creature so continues even, to even be So even the displaced. elemental damage of those attacks are halved? I didn't say that. Oh. I think the elemental stuff is regular. Okay. Um, all Early right. Fire. So that was your Early turn. Um, it's going to use a legendary action at the end of your turn. And it's going to teleport. Um, <laughs> oh. Or actually, Make it stop. wait a minute. Does it just want to? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go all the way back. So it's going to go one, two, three. So it's just going to duck back to this side of the map, uh, disappearing through that uh, haziness at the edge there. Um, so yeah, so once again, it's like just... Oh yeah, it's, it's just sort of blinking this direction and popping back out over here. Um, all right, and that's going to bring us to its turn. So does it get its thing back? No. All right. And let me see here. We've got two there. Uh, 
Oh, that was kind of dumb, actually. Whatever, it did it. Um, okay, so. Cool, cool. Alright, so we are first going to attack. We're going to use its multi-attack again. And it is going to attack Fallon. 27. I that probably hits. Let me check. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so that's going to be 15 force damage. And you have a harpoon. So once again, just reducing move speed by 5. It is going to attack Fallon again. 21. Would miss. Okay. Once more. 16, Missed. that's a crit fail. Okay, just goes super wide. Um, yeah, it's going to keep going against Fallon. 20. Miss. 19 miss. And 34. Hit. So another 14 force damage, and you have two attached harpoons. All right. Nothing there. Kane. Did both these harpoons happen after I came back? Yes. Have I mentioned how much I dislike this fucking jellyfish? <laughs> yes, you did. Like, it keeps fucking... Fucking shit. Oh, wait. I forgot its movement. I'm sorry. I want to go back and take its movement. It's going to go, um, it's just going to swim a little bit. Or actually, yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, now it's your turn. All right, I'm going to mingle with the wind and then bonus action dash. Okay. So you, you remember your movement speed's down by 10. 35. All right. So that's it. Interesting. You can't run away from me forever. <laughs> Get there. Are you doing anything else? That's all I got, man. Movement, bonus, action. Because now, now I'm floating. Or I was floating. I floated over the ravine. Yeah, that is correct. All right. That's so, all I get. Okay. Um, this is going to give me here. a free book. Uh, uh, in which case, I'll take that. Actually, yeah. Um, end of your turn, we're going to yeah. bonus action attack Colleen. Colleen. Uh, hello? Yes? No, I'm sorry, I was talking to the game. Uh, 31 against you, Colleen. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> Alright. That is going to be 17 force damage. Um, and you've got a harpoon. Yeah, that balance damage. Until, until dispelled. Is that like a dispel magic or dispelled by its ability? Um, that's an interesting question. I did use the word dispelled, so it would arguably be unfair of me to say that dispel magic wouldn't work. It's just a question. So I feel like I'm about, I'm about to get Callista. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Casey. Yeah, what's up? Did you scale up Fallon's damage? Scale up. The 25%. 25%. Or is yes. that just for... Yes, I Kane? did. Although, did I do that for Gamorks? I might have forgotten for Gamork. Yeah, in fact, I did. So let me... I know I did for Fallon, but... Um, okay, I'm tacking on a little extra damage for Gamork's attack. Thank you. Right, Keep it everybody you, up. Back to you, Brave. Well, uh, I'm just taking the 17 damage, right? 
Yeah, but it's your turn now. Right. So now I go 35 spaces this way. Alright. Alright. Eighth level to sit <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll go up the list. <laughs> Get him, girl! Uh, yeah, and it's still gotta make a dex save. Which it's not great at. That's the thing it is not great at. Yeah. It's saying yeah. it's a... Disintegrate for the win, roll that damage. Um, I think it's trying. Old toys were doing his best. Okay, yeah, yeah. 98 force damage, Jesus, and that's amped. And that amps to 122. So, yeah, you just, um... Colleen, with no fucks left to give, goes over to the other side of the platform and unleashes her remaining negative fucks on this creature, <laughs> which gets another giant hole blasted through it. And you you all just hear its wailing in your in your minds. Uh yeah. Uh so that was movement bonus act or movement action. Anything else for you, Colleen? Let's uh just readjust some skellyman. Mm -hmm. Will the skellyman do anything this fight? find out next time on Dragon Ball. <laughs> do they ever do anything, really? sometimes <laughs> the last few. I'm pleasantly surprised like this sometimes. Alright. That's fine. Good enough. Um, end of your turn. It's going to try to harpoon you once more, Colleen. I deserve this. <laughs> 22? Uh, let's use a shield. Okay. Uh, yep, you throw it up just in time. There's a grating sound as the bolt of force glances off. All right, it's Gamork. Oh, boy. Um... Okay, so it's... 15 to get me to the edge. Mm -hmm. And then you just like slide over Pac Man style. So let me see. If you literally just go straight down, let me see. It's going to be 20, 25, 30. You're literally going to. I can gonna... go 35. Yeah, I think you get to where I'm pointing. Like right here? Yeah, except, yeah, I, I didn't check your horizontal alignment, so it seems close. He was lined up perfectly with the this guy. Oh, I yeah. Think, I think that was good. Uh, you were one to the right of, I think your center should be there, because, like, Kane was next to you, right? Or no, 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 your right edge should be there, so one to the right. Yeah, yep, that's it. That's it. Wait, but you went with him in contact with him? Yeah, that's right. So his... I meant his left edge. He did it right. I said it wrong. Uh, let me see. What's your attack range? Oh, your reach is 10 feet. What do you know? Ha! That's magic. Um, that is the wrong thing. Here we go. Does a 13 hiss? Um, no. Okay, well, there you go. Alright, that being said, this is actually really annoying, because now you're in its threat range, or, or you're threatening it, and that means that ranged attacks are going to have disadvantage. <laughs> this is actually super annoying. Um, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You should stay right there. Right. You shouldn't move at all. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport again. Stop it! <laughs> Let me catch you. 
All right, we're gonna go to there. That seems good. Or right, wait a minute. Yeah, Gmort can still catch up, but there's no avoiding that. Um, oh, except I have movement. All right, cool. So, uh, Fallon, it's your turn. So it is. God, this thing moves a lot. Um. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with wind wall, just snaking back and forth right under him. Okay, let me see here. You can do 50 feet long. Um, 15 feet high, one foot thick. Shape the wall in any way you choose, as long as it's continuous along the ground. Uh, last for the duration. So 50 feet would be like half the area around it. Yeah, I just want to, like, zigzag as much as I can over its body. Okay. Um, so let me see here. When so you can do, appeared. like, one across in a diagonal. You could yeah, do, like... Fine. Oh, you could do, like, a little tent shape. Like, like that. Yeah, do let's you, do that. Do you care how it's oriented? No. All right. And then when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw. A creature takes 3-8 bludgeoning damage on a failed save and half as much on a successful one. All right. Let me get... Oh, whoops. I'm just drawing dots rather than... Ah. Creatures in gaseous form can't pass through it. Dang it. I was going to turn into a gas. Like uh, Seth MacFarlane and Hellboy 2. Anyone? I've seen that movie. I don't remember that part. It's been a bit of a while. Alright, so there... I believe you. This is... I'm going to skip this song for purposes of this. Oh, yeah, wait. This music disappeared again. What the heck? Okay, so uh, so there's your wind wall, and now it has to make a strength save. Thirteen, I think, is going to fail. Um, so three d eight bludgeoning. All right, so as it is battered by the wind wall. Um, you notice that it seems to absorb the blows fairly easy. It ha easily it has sort of a um, very giving form, so it is hurt, but maybe not as much as you were hoping. Okay, cool. Um, now there's an interesting question here. It can't pass through the wall. And the wall is, like, occupying its space. Um, I'm going to make it make us... Okay, I know what I'm, I'm going to do this. All right. Why can't it pass through the wall? Because it's... That's just what the ability it. says. Um, is it a gaseous creature? No, but... Um, wait. Oh, I must have misread. Never mind. Never mind. So okay. Small or small flying creatures can't pass. Yeah, so yeah, I, I read over the... Anyway, never, never mind me. Um, okay. Anything else for your turn? Um... 
So that was an action. And as a... Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Um, how, can I already a dodge as a bonus action? Uh, do you have an ability that lets you do that? Okay, sorry. I just The only thing I did was the spell, so I was just asking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just dodge is normally an action. So. Okay, well then never mind. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Um, that will bring us to its turn then. So let's first... Alright. Okay, does not get that back. Alright, so we've got that, that. Okay, so, um. Oh, I see, that's interesting. That's kind of interesting. Alright, um, first thing, it's going to. Hmm. Sort of move a little bit out of, or actually, wait a minute, let me see here. I'm gonna move. I feel like it has to at least get its center out of the wind wall to be able to properly target. So. Yeah, I guess I am approaching you. Um, okay, so that's going to be 10 oh, feet. <laughs> <Yeah. you're wrong. laughs> it's going to be 10 oh, feet no, no, of no, no, movement. No, no. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, first attack is going to be against Clean, who I think still has the shield going, but... Correct. 30? Yes. All right. Yes. So 15 force damage... And another harpoon. And next attack is going to go against Gamork. So this is attack two. So 32 against Gamork. Yeah. That's going to be 20 force damage. I'm hurting a Duradactyl boy. Let me see. I think Kane is actually far enough away where it would have disadvantage. Yeah. Um, yeah, fuck you. So, next attack is going to be against Fowlin. What? 17, I think, misses. Yeah, that misses. Okay, uh, next one, also against Fowlin, 29. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, so 9 force damage and a third harpoon. Uh, let me see. That was four attacks. Fifth attack, we're going to go back to Colleen. 32. Correct. Yeah. 17 force damage and a third harpoon. And then finally... Yeah, let's do this one against Gamork. Oh, wait. No, no. I already hit Gamork. I'm sorry. I just forgot to mark the extra... All right, so Gamork's at two, Clean's at three, Fallon's at three. So actually, all right, do I want to go against Gamork or do I want to take the disadvantage on Kane? Yeah, I'm going to go against Gamork. 21. Misses because it's plus three and he's at a 20. Cool. Um, alrighty then. I think... Man. I think we want to move, like... Actually, just down is how I'm going to do it. Alright, so we'll wind up there... And that will be its turn. And now, 
uh, the creature having um, it sort of pulls in and then splays all its tentacles out at once. Um, again, surely you hear sort of a, a psychic scream that you realize is almost a call and a number of other beings apparate before you. So, let me reveal these. Can you see the circles on them, by the way? Yes. Okay. Like I'm staring right at two giant titties. <laughs> <laughs> so some large areolas. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think I actually didn't mean for you to see that. So. Oh, Did you say areola? Yeah. Okay, I only saw the two at the top. I didn't see the one at the bottom. Yeah, no, it's fine. Ah, uh, here we go. You're not into the triple boot? I, I, I love uh, Total Recall just as much as the next guy. Did <laughs> Kung Fury also have a triple titty lady? Or is it one titty? It's a triple that becomes one mega titty, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so spoilers, uh, these things have an effect that changes depending on how close you are, so... Those were the ranges. <laughs> so you get the benefit of uh, seeing if you can remember that. Um, okay, cool. So let me see. So these things are all going to attack just sort of whatever's closest to them. Um, so let's start with the one at the top left. I think that's going to be clean. Yep. Yep, okay. So... Here is the attack against you. Um, uh, 18 against you, I think, is going to miss. Uh, I will miss. But a shower of spines batters against your shield. Uh, no. uh, the next one, I think, is going to go against this here ghoul. Um, and... It, and uh, so these things are just a swarm of otherworldly creatures, um, and they actually take up a rather large area. I probably could have made these tokens a bit bigger, but uh, whatever. Um, a large tentacle lashes out um, and is going to go after this ghoul. 27 against the ghoul. That will definitely hit it. So a total of 25 damage, 16 bludgeoning, 9 necrotic. And finally, the last one is closest to the creature itself. And I, I know you guys accused me of copying out last time, but it actually is going to attack the one that summoned it. Um, so, let me see here. Um, and actually, it's within the inner radius, too. So it's going to make the this attack. But, let me see here. No, actually, even with all the advantages I gave it against these attacks, it's going to get hit by that. So, here we go. So, yeah, um, that all happened. That being said, okay, cool. So, yeah, it's totally going to take some damage as these creatures just randomly lash out in all directions and actually hit it. Um, okay, that being said, it cannot be frightened of itself. So, um, after these things all make their attacks, they actually are going to vanish back into the void from which they came. Um, they may reappear one day, we will see. Uh, that being said, I have a few things I need to do. Uh, let me see here. All right, cool. So that all happens, and it's now Kane's turn. 
Yay! I moved through the misty wall. Okay, yep. okay yeah. so it's going to be 15 yeah. feet to there. What is 15 feet to what? The, the spot that I'm pointing at with my air, arrow, that's where you can get with 15 feet of movement. 15? Oh. Well, then I guess I go to the left of Gamork here. Okay. You have you have thirty five feet. Yep. All right. Here I'll move you. Then I'm gonna use four key points. Okay. To cast shatter next to the big guy. Okay. Con save, I think. Yeah. Alright. 23 on the con save. Your DC is raised by 2. Okay, so it's not going to be... Okay. So it does make the save, but still takes half damage, right? Yeah. And, okay. Okay. Yeah, I did. So okay. Yes, okay, so you cast it one level higher. What? No, I cast it at the sixth level. Oh. Wait, oh, what's oh. only? Wait, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You cast it. Um, sixth level. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Nope, you're right. So it's gonna be. Uh... I see. It's the top it's take half damage, but also 25% more. So that's going to be... Um, yeah. So there's a concussive blast, um, and you watch as it batters the creature's body. Um, it does withstand it reasonably well, but not fully. It's like, what, 16 plus 25%? So 20? Yep. Woo! Math. Any... Uh, I'm gonna flip it off. And take the dodge action. Okay. That's right. You can dodge. This is my monk. Um. All right. Let me see here. How far... I am the monk. Yeah. You know what? Um. Actually, no. It's going to... Uh, it really wants to harpoon you, but dodge action. Um... Who wants to harpoon me? That sounds like... <laughs> say, who doesn't want to harpoon? <laughs> 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 He's a fish farmer. I think Fallon likes me. <laughs> yeah, it could be in a good way. That's a good harpooning, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll a good harpooning, in Kate's opinion. Uh, not if he isn't this, even. <laughs> I guess, actually, we're just gonna... It's gonna use a legendary action to teleport. And it's gonna go... What a surprise! It's, it's gonna, gonna go move to there. Alright. And uh, it's Colleen's turn. Fuck it up. We're saving that level for power word kill. Well, as I told Lassida, the third time's the charm. Gonna do disintegrate at ninth level. Shit, alright. Um let me see here. I'm just making sure. So you are not within range with... currently. Should be one twenty with spell sniper. Doubles oh, oh it doubles it? I'm sorry, I thought yeah. it was like I thought it was less than that for some reason. Let me make sure wind wall doesn't interfere with this. Oh, that's a hot 69 is the base roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That totally works. Um, yeah, nice. Alright, so it has to try to make a deck save. Can it make a deck save for its life? Nice. Nope. <laughs> Alright. It was close that time. 
104 damage plus 25 percent so that's 130 yeah 130 yikes all right it is battered by your disintegrations but it is still alive <sighs> bollocks <laughs> Hey, look at Lee, they're not British again. <laughs> well, when Clean speaks, it's British. When I speak, it's not. British. Uh, anything else British. for you, Colleen? I I feel I feel good where I am at right now. Okay. Uh, any uh, any uh, undead movement? No. Hold our ground. All right. Give it a stern. <laughs> Let me see. I've got two legendaries left. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna do. It's gonna do another teleport. Yeah, we're just gonna scooch straight this way. Or actually, no, wait a minute. I can keep the wind wall. In. Oh, no, Fallon can just drop it if he wants. So, yeah, we're just going to do this. Alright. Gamork's turn. So it is. Um, how many harpoons he's, does he got? These? Gamork has two. Man, sm spell sniper coming in handy in the final fight. I know, just when you thought you'd never have to shoot that long range. <laughs> <laughs> Kamork dodges. All right. Is it? Is he going to move to the other side? I guess it doesn't. Yeah, never mind. Of course he will. <laughs> uh, All right, uh, so Fallon's turn. Um, whoa, okay, cool. Um, I really don't think I'm useful in this fight. I mean, you did quite a bit of damage with that spell bolt, and you've tickled it besides. I'll admit, um, Kaleen has been carrying. I mean, t level 20 wizard... Yeah, that's, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. You have died more. You know, actually, yeah, Fallon, you're kind of you're kind of carrying by not using up your extra lives as fast. To be honest, um, <laughs> you, you know, there's like video game modes like that where it's like your team wastes all the the respawn limit. You know, yeah, the limit on the respawns. Your team that's exactly wastes what's them. happening. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks, guys. All right, so yeah, hold on, uh, hold on. You're conjuring a volley. No, I'm not. I'm not. That oh, was for not. information. Okay. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Yeah, if you were dying, I might be dead. Dead. Oh, okay. You're silencing. Yeah. All right. Wait, is this thing bigger than a twenty foot radius sphere? Yes. Uh, uh no, twenty foot radius. No, no, no. It's uh ten foot radius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. That that being said. Um, roll Arcana. Sweet. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's gonna move, though. Like, yeah, that's oh. true. I'm gonna realize it's nice and quiet. Take a nap. So you're just like, are you casting it just all around it? I'm not. I'm just gonna floop it. It's... It's pointless. They're right. Okay. Uh, yeah, hits. Plus four. All right, so that's... Uh, and then you have your damage amp. Okay, yep, you flump it. And I mean, like, hey, bolts aren't super effective, but also you've got some pretty mean bolts. Um, and you watch as more purple and blue and yellow ooze comes out of the wound. Uh, 
Uh, all right. The holiday season. Anything further for you? Uh, no. Oh, am I close to being able to hide again? You haven't moved, and sure, I'd say so. Yeah, but if I... Oh, okay. yeah. Actually, wait a minute. So, it's like, looking over across it... Whoops. Across it, you, you aren't particularly close to any cover. If you move a little bit, you'll be able to hide. Like, if you move behind the pillar or something. Eh, uh, I'm good. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just... I'll, uh... Well, what's my movement speed limited to now? It's 10 feet less than whatever it started. Oh, no, uh, 15 less than whatever it started at. Even if you just, like, go up to this wall, you could duck behind it, potentially. Can I just get behind this pillar? Yep, you can do that. I'm this just going to... I'm just moving there. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm done. Okay, no stealth check? No. All right. Uh... End of your turn, it has one more legendary left, so... Eh, I'm just gonna try to attack Kane. Why not? I knew it before you even said it. 19 I misses, it. though. I think a 19 think misses. A that's, yeah, that's what the fuck you meant, sorry. It misses. Alright. Well, shucks. Still so, <laughs> that means I might not have a chance to use the one ability... Unless I didn't want it to affect Kane. Which, oh no, I could do it, actually. I forgot I didn't limit it. Yeah, you know... Uh... This ability, this ability seems more fun than the other one. Uh, oh, but... <sighs> Maybe I actually survive? Probably not. Maybe? Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. So, uh, first of all, let's see if it gets the other thing back. Nope. Alright, we are going to do... This. We are doing the Eldritch Pulse. Um, it, uh, sends energy coursing through all of the various harpoons that it's been sending out into the world. Um, so, everyone with at least two attached harpoons, which I think is Gamork and all player characters, can give me a constitution saving throw. Uh, you do have plus three on this throw, so, um, 20 yes, will do it. Nope. Not even with the plus three. Yep. I, I guess Fallon can see Gamork. I mean, Gamork can see Fallon, because Fallon didn't hide. Not that it matters. Um, okay, <laughs> so looks like uh, Colleen and Fallon are going to be affected. So, um, both of you take 31 radiant damage. And uh, you are outlined in Eldritch Flames. Actually, Eldritch Flames should be purple. I'm all purple. All right. Wait. So this am I still purple and do I succeeded? No, you. Nothing bad happens to you actually. Damage at all. Sweet. Yep. Um. Okay. So now it has movement. So we're gonna go. Or wait a minute, no. Maybe it doesn't want to go there, actually. Because uh, that'll... Hold on a sec. Alright, I guess... guess we just go like this. Okay. Um, so that's that. And now we're back to these swarms. So. 
we got one here and here and here so uh okay we'll start with the bottom one it's going to attack um this here ghoul hey the ghouls are being admirable meat shields there we go <laughs> oh wait uh no i'm sorry it's not in range for that i need to re-roll that 18 against it i actually don't have their character shoots open give me a second yep that'll hit all right, uh, so 13 bludgeoning and 7 necrotic, but it's to this one, not the previous one. Um, next one, we'll go top left. This is, I'm pretty sure, going to be against Kane. Yep, against yeah. Kane. Uh, so these are just some, this is a spine shot. 18, I think, misses. Yes. And then we've got one against this ghoul. Again, admirable meat shield. Um, and 15 might miss, actually? Or does it hit? Uh, clean, 15 against a ghoul. Oh, that'll hit. Okay, it's uh, this one right here. It'll take 7 piercing and 5 acid. And then need to hide them all again. Okay. And all right. All right. That will bring us to Kane. Okay, didn't go all the way up through yet. Nope. I'm so wait. Are, they, are the harpoons gone? They appear and disappear. That triangle is a wind wall, right? Yes. Also, that remember that your movement speed's reduced. I still got these motherfuckers in me. Okay, I thought you should appear just appear, but I could move. Yeah, yeah, your movement speed's reduced by 10. I try to shoot from there. Will it be going through the wind wall? No. Although if it's your short bow, I think that's disadvantage range. No, I got eighty feet. It's a hundred feet away. No, if I go where I'm pointing at. Oh, if you move, then yeah, you're good. Like going with the wind wall. What? It won't go through the wind wall. From oh, here? oh, oh! From there. Yeah, I'll say you got an angle. Sweet. Alright. Short bow. Twice. And it's face. Alright. Hits. Oh yeah, not plus three arrows anymore. Okay. Alright. Uh, what's the damage on the short bow hit? Okay, yep. You get another arrow in there. Plunks in. And I mean, like... You know, not doing a ton of extra damage, but... You have done quite a bit already. Uh, yep. Second one hits. It's gonna be exactly the same damage cool although wait a minute dual wielder doesn't give you your oh no no this is extra attack never mind never mind yeah. okay anything further for and, you uh, dot point so the giving the the tentacle person the bird while yelling out 
You didn't give me time to convince my friends about this plan. <laughs> um, let me see here. You just came out. Um, actually, uh, it responds to you. Perhaps I should have. Also, what's Shit. the ability that you're using to dodge as a bonus? Points. What? Points. Key, did you say key points? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it. Okay. Just so long as so long as you're spending key, it's all good. Um, yeah. I love key. All right. Uh, when so should he that he his, the bird? <laughs> <laughs> he does. He stops to get off. So let me see. I took the dodge. Um, I've got how many? Let me see something real quick. Yeah, it's going to teleport. Ah, no, wait. Yeah, alright. It's gonna... Oh my god. Sorry. Why am I thinking about this so long? Uh... Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna try another attack against Kane With a legendary. Not today! Oh, uh, so, tw yeah, 22 misses? Yes. All right. Well, I tried. Um, okay, so, Colleen, it's your turn. All right. Um, I would like to fire the second soul at it. All right. <laughs> This is a 20 hit, or a 22, 23? 22. 20, it's 22. 22. A 22 does hit. Tweet. Roll them dice, baby. Roll them good dice. Them nasty dice. And 1d8 for a life transference, because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's still rolling the other dice. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Um. Yeah. Your. Your bolt. Uh, you know what? It's the last time. How do you want to do this? <sighs> I would say, we could have been friends. Consider this a messy. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your, your bolt strikes home, and for a moment, nothing seems to happen, and then a golden light... Oh, actually, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Let me double check something real quick. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't have radiant resistance. Okay. And then a golden light wells up from within it, and the final word that you hear ringing in all of your minds... Regrettable. And then it explodes in a shower of golden light. And then... To Khalid's, like, catchphrase, Kane's just kind of like... <laughs> Actually, yeah. Damn! And then... Everything goes black.
close. You came so close. You broke free from the tower into the depths. You emerged onto the land. You tilled mountains and churned plains, readying them for your family. And then the gods forced you back, and now you brood here, building cities above a plain of water trapped deep in a crystal tomb. Your siblings labored hard, but you could not rest. These were not true dwellings. This was a cadaver, a dim shadow of the cities that would one day fill the sky with splendor. You said nothing to your siblings. You hung in the water, still as death, still as emptiness. You felt for the weakest vibration of the water, the slightest disturbance, the faintest fluctuation. Centuries would pass, then you would feel it. An opening, never wide enough for one such as yourself, but enough for some lesser of your kind. Aberrations, the things beyond called them. And sometimes the connection was just strong enough for you to speak. The fish people, the Quotoa, were most receptive to your words, but fragile of mind and body. You needed more. And so, for empty age upon age, you hung in stillness, waiting, calling. You knew of nothing else. So close. You came so close. You'd found your opportunity and seized it. And now you'd taken a gamble. You'd put forth the full measure of your strength and put your tenuous existence on the line. You failed. 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 A cleansing light washes over you. And you know it will not spare a single one that you sought to protect. The light burns and etches into you the searing pain of guilt. You yield to the light. Got to do something. I need to quickly bring up. There we go. <laughs> Clean. Clean. Are you awake? Breakfast is ready. Uh, Clean. You. Roll over and sit up. Strange, you think. I don't normally lie down like this while I meditate. You look across the room and see Cain, Fallon, and Gmork sprawled on the floor sleeping. Memory floods back in. You wonder where you are. And then the voice that you heard registers. Mother? And that's Mom? Where, and that's where we end for tonight. Don't kill me sleep, please. Blin Ploop is your mom. Well, I feel a little bad now, but... Fuck those tentacle creatures. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording here. So good night everyone. We will um I'm clearly signaling an epilogue, so we will pick up with that next time. I'm into it. So my uh